the next one two dice one blue one grey are thrown at the same time two dice are thrown write down all the possible outcomes so we have to write the sample space as is equal to do you remember how to write one one then one two one three one four one five and one six okay again two one two 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 three Two four, two five, two six. Since so the question is to write down all the possible outcomes, we are not supposed to put the dots. You just write all the thirty-six outcomes: three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, three six. Again, four one, four two, four three, four four. Four five, four six. Again, five one, five two, five three, five four, five five, five six. And the last row: six one, six two, six three, six four, six five. And a six six. So the total number of outcomes is thirty six. And what is the question? What is the probability that sum on the two numbers appearing on the top of the dice is eight? First part is to find the probability that the sum is eight. Second part is to find the probability that the sum is thirteen. And the third part is to find the probability that the sum is less than or equal to two. So this is the first case. What is the sum? One plus one two. What about this case? One plus two, three. This is four. Four plus one, five. Five plus one, six. One plus six, seven. Two plus one, three. Two plus two, two. So two plus two, four. Like that, we can count and see all the thirty-six events. Okay. We from the list itself, it is clear that this will be the least sum, isn't it? One, one. What is the least sum possible? One plus one, two. And this will be the bigger sum. And what will be the bigger sum possible? Six plus six. Twelve. What is our question? We have to find the probability that the sum is eight. So we are going to find the first part of the question. P of sum is eight. Anyway, the total number of outcomes is thirty-six. So that the denominator is thirty-six. So count the events in which the sum gives you eight. One, 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 two, one, three. The maximum possible is one six, which gives only. Seven. We require the sum as eight. So in the second row, two six gives you eight. So not in the third row, three five gives you eight. In the fourth row, four four gives you eight. In the fifth row, five three gives you eight. And in the last row, six two gives you eight. So one two three four five. Favorable outcomes is five. So the probability value is five by thirty six. Okay. Second part of the question is to find the probability probability that the sum is thirteen. Can you say we already told in the beginning that the maximum possible sum is twelve, isn't it? So the question is to find the probability that the sum is thirteen. So no event is the gives the sum as thirteen. So the number of possible events is zero divided by total number of outcomes is thirty six, which gives you the value zero. And the third case is P of getting sum less than or equal to twelve. That also we already discussed. The least least sum possible is two, and the highest sum possible is twelve. And in the question, we have to find the uh, probability that the sum is less than or equal to twelve. That means all these outcomes are having sum less than or equal to twelve. So the number of favorable outcomes is thirty-six, and total number of outcomes is also thirty-six, giving you the probability value one, which is a sure event.